guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today's video is going to be a little get ready with me because I'm going to have a girls night out with one of my friends. Her name's Alexa. I only have about an hour to get ready, so let's just get right into it. So I'm starting off with a little skin prep. I'm not gonna talk about the products too much just because I don't really have time and this isn't a tutorial so I will have everything linked down in the description box though. I actually have not met Alexa in person before. We've been internet friends for the longest time though and we've been texting back and forth for what feels like months talking about going out to eat and just hanging out doing this doing that together. We both live in Dallas so I'm honestly surprised that we haven't hung out yet considering the fact that we live in the same city, so I am super excited to finally meet her in person. I actually met her through social media. She does TikTok as well. If you guys are in the Dallas area, you probably know her as like the day in the life at SMU girl. She does a lot of those, or at least she used to. I think now she does a lot of the day in the life living in Dallas type of videos. I think she's on her summer break right now, so she doesn't do SMU content. By the way, I'm using a new product right now. It's the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. One of you guys recommended that I use this and give my review and I am not too sure about this. I don't know if I'm like not blending it out right or what. I'm not really a big fan of tinted moisturizers in the first place, so wow. Okay, this is like not blending really well. Also, I got product all on my brows, which I hate. That's why I tend to do my brows after skin prep before I do any other face products. Mm, I don't think I like this. I don't know if I use like too much or what, but I'm kind of just dabbing it off now. Yeah, no, I don't think I like it. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's really like streaky it doesn't blend well but then again i just use my fingers hmm weird i'm not gonna mess with my skin anymore i'm just gonna leave it how it is now with a little bit of the tinted moisturizer on and primer and all of that good stuff and now we're gonna crack open a good old olipop this is in the flavor strawberry vanilla That was so satisfying. If you haven't heard of Olipop, it is a sparkling tonic and it supports digestive health and it literally tastes so good. It's way better than like regular soda. So good. Tonight we are going to this place called Catbird. If you are from Dallas, you have probably heard of Catbird before. It's a super cute little cocktail place um, at the Thompson Hotel in downtown Dallas. And I've definitely wanted to go, but if you didn't know this already, I am 20 years old, I'm not 21. And so I always just assumed that I couldn't go because I wasn't old enough, but it turns out anyone can go and they have appetizers if you're like not into drinking. You can just get some appetizers. I plan on getting like a mocktail or something. But yeah, I am so excited to meet Alexa in person finally. I feel like I have so many internet friends that I haven't met in person. And I just love when I get the chance to hang out with them face to face. Also, I'm very much so the type of person who doesn't let plans go through. Like I cancel all the time and it's not always because i just don't want to hang out with someone most of the time it's simply because my work schedule is so last minute that things pop up and i just can't make it and i was actually supposed to hang out with alexa like a couple of months ago but i had a photo shoot earlier that day and ended up having an allergic reaction from some of the products that I was modeling, it was skincare. I was like breaking out into hives and it was just not a good situation. And I wanted to just go home, take a shower and like 
finish the day. So I did end up canceling on Alexa and these plans once before, which I felt so bad about, but we're finally making it happen. Okay, I feel like we've been working on the skin and brows for five ever. I'm using Kosas foundation, by the way. I'm currently obsessed with it. That's all I've been using for the past few weeks. But yeah, since I'm not of age yet, I don't really go out like this, like ever. And I don't know if it's because I'm not old enough to really go out like that yet, or if I'm just a homebody. I guess we will find out once I am 21. But a lot of my friends are definitely older than me. They're like 21, 22, 23, 24, some are even 25. I feel like such a burden every time we go out like in the evening because I usually have to like pack it up and leave early before they start like hitting the bars and whatnot. So I feel like the one thing that I'm excited the most about when it comes to turning 21 is not to like be able to drink but just the comfort knowing that I can just like go wherever I want to go without being like mm, not old enough, mm, not old enough, can't do that, can't do that, can't go there, can't go there. Because I feel like it just like lets the vibe down big time whenever I have to leave and go home early. I have my outfit picked out right there. I'm gonna wear that pink dress and then I have like a black leather blazer behind it but you guys it's literally 107 degrees outside so i don't know you guys i want to wear the black leather blazer because i don't really like showing my back i'm a little insecure about it but it's gonna be so hot but then again i i'm pretty sure catbird is an indoor spot i mean there's outdoor seating as well but like we could sit indoors, especially because we're kind of going early considering that it's like a drinking place. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not really experienced in this type of stuff. I might just wear the blazer and then like if it's too hot, I can always carry it. Nose contour has got to be my favorite part of doing my makeup. It's so satisfying. Shout out to Dibs Beauty. I'm using the duo stick in the shade 5.5 my go-to contour stick, always, always, always. Okay, we are good on time. I'm gonna set my face really quick. I love to watch YouTube videos and like Netflix shows or listen to music while I'm doing my makeup. I'm not saying that I don't love filming this right now because I do, but I kind of hate this. <laughs> because it's dead silent in here and I don't know I just I feel like I work a lot better when there's music going on or something in the background and I can just like listen to it and sort of zone out also it's really difficult making conversation with the camera and like no one's talking back to me I feel like I'm pretty new to YouTube though so I will get used to this little setup for sure. I don't want to do anything too crazy with my eyeshadow tonight. Per usual, I feel like I always say that every time I do eyeshadow, I don't want to do anything too crazy. I just go with like the brown in my crease, a little glitter all over, and then I go back over with the brown in my crease again to really tie it all in. And then I do like the shadow liner. Okay, shadow liner is the most intense part. Literally, look at this. I'm so embarrassed right now. Look at the. Oh. Hello? I'm trying to like. I'm trying to like smudge it out to like sharpen it. Oh, I'm making it worse every time I touch it. Okay, we just. We have to move on. We don't have time to harp on it and try to perfect it. It is 5.20. We have a little bit of time. Of course, I just got mascara all over my eyelid. Mm. That's all I have to say. Mm. <laughs> At least my hair is pretty much done because I got a blowout. 
this morning at dry bar blowouts are better than taking a straightener to your hair because it stretches your curls rather than with a flat iron frying your curls so that's why i am still getting blowouts throughout my curly hair journey okay we're gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer okay now we're gonna do some blush do people add blush on their nose when it's like a nighttime look or is that like a daytime thing only and then i always just go back over everything with my beauty blender to make it less intense always remove the makeup off of your lips i hate when people keep their like foundation and stuff on their lips now we're adding lipstick or lip gloss whatever this is charlotte tilbury i'm pretty sure this is pillow talk then i always take like a paper towel and just press it kind of smudge the liner out i feel like i'm missing a step do you guys ever feel that way i don't know oh setting spray that's what i was missing okay so now we are moving on to the hair i'm literally just going to use two products this moroccan oil hairspray and then this sparkling soda shine mist from dry bar like I said earlier, I got my hair done this morning, so there's really nothing that I need to do, but they always leave like the flyaways on my hair. And then I always tell them that I part my hair in the middle, but it's never perfectly in the middle. Part of me wants to do a side part tonight, but that's risky, so. Cute. Okay, and then the sparkling soda. It's just some shine mist. The only reason why I really use this stuff is because it smells so good. As you can see, I'm using probably way too much. And it probably weighs my hair down with the amount that I use. But again, it smells so freaking good. And then what I do to my hair when it's in like a blowout style like this is flip my head back and forth like a billion times and then come up, find the part that you just made. And the hair is done. Now we're gonna put the outfit on and accessorize and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, so the dress is now on. She's cute. The back is open and then, oh, I'll show you guys. The shoes that I wanted to wear, I've worn these shoes like a million times. I feel like they're from Zara and they're just like these rhinestone little strappy black heels. For the accessories, I was thinking of wearing these earrings. They're like these silver double hoop huggies almost. I think that's what they call them, like the small hoops. I just put this little tennis bracelet on and now I'm gonna put this JBW watch on. There's a little bit of gold in there, but it's silver for the most part. Is that too much? I don't think so. I've got the shoes on. Ooh, this is cute. It's giving Hailey Bieber. I feel like and this is the fragrance of the night it's the miss dior perfume honestly i'm kind of nervous i don't know why i get so nervous before meeting up with people especially people that like i haven't met in person before when it's just like the two of us i feel like something in me is always scared that i'm gonna get catfished not saying that like she's been sketchy or anything because she hasn't but you know anxiety there's always something that has to like take over in my mind and freak me out for no reason but anyways let's go do a full fit check okay guys so we're gonna start from head to toe 
These earrings are from Revolve. This pink dress is from Revolve as well. This black leather blazer, which I wore in my Chicago vlog, is from Aritzia. The watch on top is from JBW, and then the little tennis bracelet is from Revolve. And I have my little Marc Jacobs snapshot bag. And then these shoes are from Zara. So yeah, that is the full fit. I think I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very quick and kind of chaotic get ready with me. Next time I'll have some like topics to talk about and questions to answer for you guys to make it a little bit more entertaining. But yeah, I am now off to dinner. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications, comment anything you'd like. You guys already know the drill, do it all. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.